Okay, the next pair for our four mains analysis update for the 16th of February 2011 is the sterling against US dollar. I have it up here in front of us on our CTC strategy template on our preferred trading platform Metastock Pro. I'll just have a look at the daily time frame to see what's been happening and look for trend direction and support and resistance. You can see that this pair is in a beautiful uptrend, higher highs. So if you're trading long term, daily trends, you should have been interested in getting into this because of this nice bounce on not only the trend line but um, ultimately on a previous support area i.e. the 1600 mark you can see previous resistance becoming new support this candle kind of piercing but staying above the trend line would give you an indication that we could have seen an opportunity to go long at the break of this high at 166076 <clears throat> and ultimately our next target now is the top 1620 if you want to or the entire top of the candle right up here at the previous support resistance level at the 1630 depending on if you're trading Wix or the actual Wix or the um, the uh, bodies is entirely your choice, but if you're trading the bodies, just recently this one over here would be where the shooting star occurred. They're about 1620 would be your target, or above 1627. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay, so that's where we're heading now. Uh, CTC is in our favor. You can see the CTC. We've got our blue arrow to start with. We're still in a negative trend, and eventually, what happened was. If you had been trading that uh, previously, then you would have actually been triggered in when we got a break above uh, this high there. Okay, we're looking for a confirmed break above a previous resistance level. We don't want to be so. Oops, apologies for that. So if you're trading daily, then obviously you would have only got into this candle here which are taking you above all the moving averages and would have set you off in that direction. Okay, so CTC is now blue, so we're looking at the, the, the actual um, strategy temp is telling us that we should still be looking for longs on a bigger time frame. Intraday wise, um, if you look at the 30 minute candle for example, or 30 minute chart, you'll notice that we are trading above a breakout Okay, bit of a hesitation along this area here at 1616. Um, and if you had woken up early, you would have um, wanted to see a break above this high here. This is the Asian market high, GMT 1616, in order to confirm that we probably see some further upside movement. And because on a daily time frame we're looking for upside movement, then you should still be looking for opportunities to go uh, long to the upside. So whether you're drawing your trend line that way, is um, as long as the pair stays now and trades above 1616 for the remainder of the uh, sterling or the European session, then it's a good likelihood that we could see this continue, this momentum continue out throughout throughout the day going into the US session later this afternoon. Okay, so we've broken above a intraday high, um, so look for possible. Uh, movement back up to 1620 at least to start within 1625 to the upside. Um, our CTC strategy on all our time frames, five minutes. You can see there was a good opportunity to get in there and get a couple of pips to start with. Uh, blue on our 15 minutes, 30 minutes, hourly, four hour. So sterling is looking good long term for the for the time being on all the time frames in today. So look for some possibilities for further upside movement if the pair can hold strong above 1616 for the Euro remainder of the European session going into the US session this afternoon. Take care guys, I'll be back next with the US dollar against the Swiss franc.